I want to find this definite integral. What? Basically saying area in, under the curve. In order to do that, you first integrate this. Okay. So this might scare you, but hopefully not. What's the integral of 2? The integral of 2 is 2x. Now the integral of secant squared x is what derived gave you cosecant squared x? Derivative of what gives you cosecant squared x? Cotangent. Now, the thing is, it's negative cotangent gives it. You're going to end up with plus cotangent x. Because the derivative of cotangent gives you cosecant squared. But negative. Negative. The derivative of cotangent gives you negative cosecant squared. It takes a bit to get used to those. You're going to have to memorize those. Then you do the brackets. Do you guys understand, hopefully, why you do the brackets? Because we integrated it. This is an integral. But we got to keep these values to see what we're going to plug in. Now, don't make a mistake that I've made a mistake of. You go from B to A. Remember, this is B. This is A. So we're going to plug in this one and then plug in this one. So we're going to take two times pi over 2 plus, can I change cotangent to make it easier on me? Isn't cotangent cosine pi over 2 over sine pi over 2? That is f of b, big F, antiderivative of f, minus f of a, which is 2 times pi over 4, and then plus cosine pi over 4 over sine pi over 4. Okay, next. This becomes pi, and what's pi over 2? Cosine pi over 2 is what? Cosine is 0. Is it 0 over 1? So is that plus 0? Minus, isn't that going to be a, what, pi over 2? And what's pi over 4? Isn't that going to be 1? Isn't that 1 pi? Isn't that square root 2 over 2 over square root 2 over 2? Square root 2 over 2 over square root 2 over 2, which is 1. So my answer, what is pi minus pi over 2? It's just pi over 2. Correct? Minus 1? That's good enough. We don't have a calculator. <laughs>